Sup guys, it's Jake from your Gaming HUD and it's Gaming News of the Week. This week has been jam-packed full of your gaming goodness. It's right before E3. We're a fortnight away, so be prepared. This was a big one. And I think you already know what I'm talking about, but that's later on in the show. But for the time being, this is your Gaming News of the Week. Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection is revealed. The Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection will include Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, and Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception in one collection on PS4. Only the single player campaigns of the titles will be available, sad to say. Also, Sony has stated that whoever buys the Nathan Drake Collection will also get access to the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta later this year. Expect 1080p graphics, 60 frames per second, and better lighting, texture, and models. The usual HD remaster done by Bluepoint Games, who did God of War Collection, Shadow of the Colossus, and Ico, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Sad to say, I don't understand why the multiplayer, you know, Multiplayer is not included. I assume I would assume they would do like a Halo the Master Chief collection kind of multiplayer, but I don't understand uh, I guess the multiplayer is just gonna stay out people I don't know, but yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait for the Uncharted 4 beta Keep on the lookout for that one XCOM 2 revealed and a trailer Publisher 2K has revealed XCOM 2, which is to come to PC first in November. According to 2K, the sequel transports players 20 years into the future where humanity lost the war against the alien threat that has established a new world order. XCOM is largely forgotten and must strike back to reclaim control of Earth and free mankind from the alien rule. If you love turn-based strategy and, and kind of go and building that bond with your character, you'll love this game. XCOM 1 was a fantastic game. Um, I've never played the really the older versions of XCOM, but you know if if you love yeah if you love that turn-based strategy, uh, then you'll love this game. Uh, you know I played a little bit of it. I'm not a veteran in in that field, but it I mean you can't go wrong with this at all. New trailer and details for Battleborn from the creators of Borderlands Gearbox Software. Gearbox Software has announced Battleborn will have a story mode that can be played either single player or cooperatively and will also have three distinctly different competitive multiplayer modes. It can be played with up to five friends either online or split screen. Gearbox said that the story will be replayable for even better loot. Multiplayer can be played up to 10 players in a 5 versus 5 game of insertion, devastation, or meltdown mode. Insertion pits teams against waves of AI controlled minions with teams working to defend their own base with, while simultaneously trying to destroy the base of their opponents. Devastation is an objective based team deathmatch and Meltdown sees teams protecting their minions as they march to, the, to their death at the center of the map. Experience points gained from any of those game types and the story will help towards leveling up character rank and command rank. Character rank can be raised from 1 to 10 outside of missions and matches and will also unlock skins as well as swap out arguments in the Helix skill tree. Command rank ranks up player profiles, unlock badges, and looks among other perks. Also, no big deal, but 25 unique playable characters. If that doesn't get you hot and bothered, then I know what will. Last, but certainly not least, Fallout 4 has been revealed. It's crazy to see this trailer and how, how much I loved Fallout 3. I love Fallout 3. Uh, you know, no offense, New Vegas, I, I wasn't a big fan, but I spent so many hours playing Fallout 3 and all of, it, all of its expansions. And see that they're bringing back things and they're upgrading uh, the graphical adherence, you know. Granted that, you know, the trailer shows a little bit of wonky animations here and there, but you know, with Fallout 3, I played it for the gameplay and the stories that would happen. You know, it, it's a very early, it's very early on, so, uh, so it's fine. But, but well, you know, this trailer has got to hold me over at least until Bethesda does their E3 press conference, which is, I believe, June 14th. Narrator in the trailer is confirmed to be Ron Perlman, with the quote, "War never changes." 
he's reprising his role. Release date is in speculation. It's expected to land 2015 from some suggested retailers in the UK and Australia. Bethesda's own online store initially listed the Fallout 4 release date as TBA 2015, but later changed to TBA. I can't wait to see more about this game. I'm gonna take Kali Moriarty's word because I expect this 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 game to maybe be released 2015. 2015. If they can they can show this gameplay, they can show this and that, and give a 2015 release date, Bethesda will have E3 in the palm of its hands. So expect great things in the future and E3 cannot come faster. Since I didn't do one last week, uh, I'm not, I don't have a lot, but still, here it is. Games to look out for. Planet Side 2 gets a PS4 release date of June 23rd. You, if you like MMOs, first person shooters, and just large scale combat of like, of people dishing it out, you'll love this game. It's a, it's. It's a great game. I played it on the PC. I'm gonna play it on the PS4. It's free to play. You really can't go wrong with that. Ch things are changing from subscription base to free to play. Another one, another game, my second game to look out for is Wildstar. It has a fall release date for the free to play version. It has amazing customization. Uh, six classes with eight races, PVP raids, the whole nine yards. And uh, I, I would recommend this to any MMO lover any MMO lover. I mean, uh, it has a whole telegraph system of think of like think of Guild, of, uh, Guild Wars 2 when you're just trying to like you, you have to dodge everything. You're going to have to dodge in this game, um, but you know, it has a whole telegraph system so you know where to dodge and get out of the way. But it's it's a it's a really interesting game and uh, any MMO lovers, I recommend this. Fully. All right, guys, that's it for me this week, but uh, keep on the lookout. We're getting ever so closer to E3, so expect a lot of videos and some reactions to come out. But for the time being, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Talk to you guys later. Remember to subscribe, comment, anything. Uh, if you guys want to, follow me on Twitter, Your Gaming HUD. Um, yeah, anything else, just let me know. All right. Appreciate your time. Bye, guys.